Oh, hello, bone man. Yes, you stay clothed. Thank you so much. <laughs> Perhaps we should go down and see some spirit animals in the mine. But first, I must speak to this Joffrey. <sighs> be good, Richard. Daddy will be back soon. Hmm. Is there a door to this place? Yes. On this side. Are you Joffrey? What Hello? Is it now? Hondatar is the name. I'm a hunter and mountain man. Oh, you're quite pale for a mountain man, aren't you? Good day. I guess it takes all sorts. Goodbye. Wayman House. Hmm. Hello? Is there anyone in here? Hmm. Art on the walls. This is quite a different place. This is a civilized place, is the feeling I get. Uh, hello to you. See, Danis, maybe said you had something to say hello. to me. I'm Brother Joffrey. Can I help you? I'm not sure. Uh, I found this amulet in a coat, and I heard from the proprietor that you might be looking for something similar. She would not buy it from me, simply enough. Do you have any interest in this? This cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let oh. me see it. I did not take it from him, I swear. Please, have a look. By the Nine! This is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? Please, please. No questions like that, sir. Please. Uh, maybe I could just make something up? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. At least you believe me. So, um... What are we supposed to do now? How can I use this to close the jaws of oblivion? His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Merun's Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. One would think. Oblivion is threatening us now. I've had confirmation from one member of the Mage's Guild, could I? I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. Mm. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. Perhaps he does have a son, you think? I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. Oh, One night, Uriel me called too. me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, mm. if he yet lives. Do you know where I might find this boy? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. I think a wish of good luck will be enough for that, friend. I shall find this Martin in Kavach. He is a priest in the chapel of Akatosh in Kavach. Yes, yes, he, he is. He never knew that he was Uriel Septim's son. No, no, he didn't. You need to find him at once and bring him safely back here. At once, at once. Waste no time. You must find Martin before the enemy does. Mm. Well, it seems that this amulet that I found in the uh, clothes on the beach is a bit more than just an extremely valuable amulet. 
I did notice the lump in my pocket, but I did not think twice about it. I thought maybe if I could find a jeweler I could sell it for some skooma, but apparently this has taken me into a whole new quest. And it was not really uh, for me to decide. Do you want to go find Martin? No, I was just kind of pressured into it because I held the amulet. But I shall do what is asked of me. Hello, Richard. You're so pretty. Good boy. Good well, boy. We're going to get you some apples, hmm? And now we head back south. Hmm. Well, perhaps I could talk some more about the spirit animals, you know. The Dunmer have many, many houses which res respect many, many spirit animals. There are boars. There are badgers. Hmm. I should think a, a rat would be a fun spirit animal to have. But cats are better, you see. Not scavengers, but equally as sneaky. Hmm. I, I find it a mystery why the eagles represent the high elves. High elves are not half as majestic as they would like to think they are. Hmm. Fort Karmala. Many deers. Hello, deers. Are you scared of me when I'm off the horse? I would be too. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I have no arrows left. No matter. I just want to have a little peek. There's just so many dungeons underground. Brandar must have a look around. Ooh. Dead treasure hunter. Nice ring. Oh, little jewels. Oh. This is so nice. Thank you so much. He's also got a scimitar. Which might be pretty useful. Though I don't think it will do as much damage as I would like compared to my current ebony dagger. Hmm. Curious. What is this place? It seems some sort of burial chamber. And if that is the case, then the treasure hunter surely got what was coming to him. Ah. Things inside the coffins. Hopefully it is not a vampire. Do you know why, friends, vampires like to sleep inside of coffins? It is more than just the convenience or being spooky. Obviously coffins do not let the light in. And if a vampire lord would like to travel, he simply has his thralls carry the coffin to somewhere new. It is disguised as a funeral procession, which I think is quite interesting. Most ingenious. Hmm, dead rat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did this come from? Uh. Okay, I guess we're fine for now. Oh, there's many rats in this cage. Little rats! Little rats! Come out and play! This gate is opened elsewhere. Here? Surely. Hello, hello! So nice to meet you! Ah! And by meet you, I mean turn you into a slab of meat. Not one that I will partake in. Ugh. Rat meat. Disgusting. Not even good. It is far too gamey for Brandar's tastes. Hmm, many alcoves in the walls. And I did hear someone just down that way. Sneaky kitty. Sneaky. Oh, oh, oh. You don't see me, do you? You don't see me, right? No. Could it be? Oh. oh, she's got the heels! Oh. 
Shield, shield. Ha! Vampire scum. Fall! I should be careful not to get infected down here. The vampire curse. A gift from one of the Daedric princes. There are many gifts that the Daedric princes do give. Madness. Vampirism. Lycanthropy. AIDS. <sighs> I don't know about that last one. But I think it's a safe assumption. AIDS and cancer are both from Daedric princes. You can quote your friend Brandar on this. Nothing there. I'm quite nervous. These vampires lurking around. Yes, I do see you down there, friend. What's that? What's that? Ooh. Where are you? Two of them. Do I have uh, any more arrows? I do hope so. Arrow of sparks. Iron arrows. Oh, many silver arrows. Yes, that will do some work against vampires. I can tell you this for sure. Whoop! Whoop, whoop, whoop! No, no, no! Ah! I feel it in my bones! Ah! My agility! Ah! Ah! My joints begin to ache, friends. Ah, I think something very bad has happened. Ah, vampire dust. Ah. We must continue. Deeper, deeper, deeper into the mine. Perhaps I shall lose my mind and become a vampire myself. Although I sincerely hope not. Let's see about this second fellow here. Oh, there's many of them. Be careful. Have to be careful. Is he coming? Oh yes. Oh yes. <gasps> Certainly he is. Why won't you die? Don't die. I mold. What's the matter? Oh, oh. They're on all sides of me. Ah, I must find a, a narrow passage in which to fight them. Here we are. Ah. There you are! Ah. Down he goes! And now you! <laughs> He's a dangerous one. Need some potion. Need some potion. Little shield, little heal. Getting tired! Never tired. Uh, berserkers never tire, friend. <sighs> hmm. I suppose this was a thrall. And his, uh, his master. Uh, little healing potions. I do like these steel gauntlets and things, but it just weighs so damn much. Uh, I suppose I shall venture deeper into the mine. Although, that seems to be the incorrect way to go. Maybe there is something down the other side. Hmm. Brandar doing his work. Taking care of all the vampires. Oh, and there's a, a woman with a rather large dog down this way. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Alright. We need to leave now. I hate dogs. I hate. Oh, 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 oh! Well, if the dogs can step on the trap, perhaps this will, uh, be their demise. Are they fighting themselves over there? What is happening? Whoa! Whoa! There, dog. Dead. <laughs> Dead! Yes! That worked beautifully, friends! 
Now we've just got one more to lure. Hello? Hello? Anyone? Oh, you. She's got a bow and arrow. What are you using there? Silver arrows? Yes. To hurt quite bad if I take one in the knee. Perhaps my adventuring days will be over. <laughs> oh, she did kill the other wolf. What a heartless woman. Alright, coming down this way. Shields. You're dead. <sighs> Not a problem. Take care of this post haste. This vampire dust probably uh, will fetch a pretty price. Hmm. What is over this way? Infinite curiosity. Brief history of the Empire. I know about enough about the Empire. More than I would like to. At that. Ah. Vampire Coven. Hmm. Nope. 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 Ah. Just do it! In a fit of rage, I have broken all of my lockpicks. Wonderful decision, Brandar. Wonderful decision. We are so proud of you. Hmm. It does not seem there is anything else down this way. There was just a woman who was out for blood. Oh, hello, Bone Man. Yes, you stay clothed. Thank you so much. Oh. What is this? Are you, uh, are you stuck in the roof? Perhaps it is a bat of some kind. Hmm? Are you still following me? How's that? How's that? Ah! I cut your feet up. Oh, and here's the other room that had three vampires patrolling it, I believe it was. There's no time for lockpicking or bashing. Why? Because that thing is up there. Ah. Ooh, and this is a big coffin. Quite fancy. Battle Axe of Naming. Yes, I should have known there was something in here. Oh, Shadow Banish Wine. Yes. It has a special carrots in it that helps you to see in the dark and get drunk at the same time. Hmm. This must be quite valuable. I should hold on to it. Hmm, what about this? <sighs> I do regret breaking all of my lockpicks. But we shall take what we can from here. And then depart from this place. A shame. Perhaps I shall come back with more lockpicks. At least now I do know that the, uh, the vampires have been dispatched. All except for that, what is this, a werewolf following me in the roof? But werewolves uh, are people for most of the time. Vampires are just uh. in that mess. You don't want any part of that, friends, trust me. Werewolves you can trust for 20 days out of the month, 29 days. Vampires, don't trust them for a second. One, two, three, four Goodbye, goodbye, see you again Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends